what do you see the difference in those that era and this era in terms of in terms of intensity of work like i am quite sure that today's filmmakers like your children also would be putting in equal amount of hard work would be probably more in so many way, ways more diverse in their approach to cinema etc but what's the critical difference that you have seen in the bollywood of 80s and now i'm not talking of 90s so much because it's in so many people's ideas it's sort of a wasted generation uh, era of bollywood sir fortunately or unfortunately life doesn't offer you good and bad it offers you packages and in one package there are five big goods underneath that there are nine small bads underneath that there are 11 very good very small goods of underneath that there are medium size four bads on the in the other packet there are seven very big goods underneath that there are eight big bads underneath that there are medium size 12 goods then underneath that there are seven bads medium size now you don't know which is the better package you can't decide it but you have to take one so every era there is no there was never golden era any golden elder uh, every golden era, era has always belonged to the past never yeah, it has happened that people present. say this is the golden era hmm. no but i'm sure in 80s it people would be always, saying to you that no, it is a golden yeah, era it is always so always so but they would have told you in 80s that it is the golden era mr knapp nahi nahi nobody said. nobody said nobody is never in the world golden era was the present era it was always in the past because then you forget certain things you edit it according to you you know great we were great and so and so and everything was wonderful so hum not only in film industry everywhere you romanticize the past this is how history is made but there was no era which was golden era every era had good bad medium mediocre exceptional all together but the reference has come that uh, it has become more uh, streamlined in my time see perhaps when i came to film industry it was going through a feudal era now it is an industrial time now it is more egalitarian more 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 uh, corporatized now feudal times have their vices and virtues so has uh, the corporate time money was used to trickle now it is flowing now it is good wonderful it's comfortable but at the same time again it has a negative side also because money used to trickle a producer used to make a film in around 2 years so the saleable actor could do 7 8 9 pictures at a time because the producer didn't have enough money so he would shoot for 5 days in a month so rest of the 25 days he had for others so he would go 5 days to this and 7 days to do or 3 days to, and he would do many films now when the money has come the producer says you take your money there is no problem of money so because he is getting all the money why should he go to 20 places so he does one film at one time it means if he is working around the clock he will do be able to do three or four films in a year that time 12 producers are producing the film today they are four the choices have changed so again now this is not a very happy situation perhaps you should have 20 more saleable stars but uh, it's not in your hands uh, you can't just create saleable stars like that people have to love them people have to like them. the stars are today are popular people people they have a huge fan following so it can't be created overnight it happens so there are very few stars who are viable in market and that is why there are very few producers who are making a film 